Hey everybody, welcome back to Rough Night Gaming. I'm Travis, and I'm playing Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Uh, last episode, I met this fellow named Minsk, who has a tiny little miniature giant space hamster, uh, who he talks to. And I managed to, I, I dumped Garrick from my party, and I met the mayor of Nashkel. I actually made it to Nashkel. Uh, I've explored pretty much all of it, except for the actually the inside of buildings. There's about five buildings I haven't gone into. I went into the store. Um, mostly because I was avoiding... Because I assumed that I would be... Um, well, I, I, so. I assumed there would be an attempt on my life. And I'm, I'm still thinking that'll be the case. But uh, this time I'm going to actually go into the buildings and figure out what's going on. Um, yeah. You must gather your party before venturing. Okay, let's see. I'm in an inn. Or no, it's a temple. There's somebody named Nolan. He looks kind of like a paladin. <coughs> or a cleric. The music's very holy. Let's speak to him. Ah. ah. Adventures at our door. Helm guards over all the realms, and his servants are at your disposal. The vigilant one stands ready to mend thy ailments, and so divert the unyielding gaze of the great guide. For a suitable donation, of course. Just to demonstrate our mutual goodwill, you understand. Helm, watch over you and your poor lost brother, Brage. A finer captain of the guard could never be found on this side of Arm. Such a strange change for one so devout as he. One does not usually change so drastically without nefarious help. If there be an evil influence on him, perhaps the harsh justice of the military should be stayed. He'll find no quarter at the garrison, but if he came to the temple, well, his restitution need not be his life. It's is there anything I can help you with? What kind of services do you provide? We got donate, healing, buy and sell, identify. Uh, ooh, flesh to stone to flesh scroll. That's pretty handy. Um, let's. Well, that's cool. Yeah, let's cure you. Did that. Should I do it? No. There we go. Okay. Um, and then... Yeah. Let's buy a couple of these. Uh, that, yeah, I don't want to use too much money. The bridge might be under the influence of some evil force. Okay. Now I also found out that if I I can knock people out by basically just taking out my off my weapons and like punching them into submission, you know as you do. Uh, so if I run into Brage, maybe I should attempt to do that. Um, of course, I don't always have that much power over the situation, especially if he's really strong. I'm <laughs> I might just end up killing him by accident. Stand away, citizen. Omnian soldier. Hey there! Who told you that you could come in here? This place is only for members of the Omnian soldiery. Little snot noses like you, you're not welcome here. Come on, get out of here before I had to kick your butts. Uh, I don't really want to fight guards. I'll let them... Good! Run off of their tails between your legs. Now if you'll excuse me, I have important business. Get out of my way! Does he just leave? Oh, well then I'll just Sold. stay here. Hand away, citizen. The reward for the commander's head is a king's ransom, but I'll not be lifting my sword against a brother soldier. I wonder if I could get the reward and save him. Hand away, citizen. We don't have the manpower to patrol the mines. What would the problems? Bandits up north. I didn't come across any bandits. Yeah, there's a lot of troubles in this region. Is that a ladder going up? No. Okay. It doesn't look like there's much going on here other than that. Maybe I should try and loot the place. And of course, they're all locked. Yeah, okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. Right, what's this? I calmed his... his raging... um, ego. That big guard. What does the green mean? I think the green means I'm missing hit points. That's weird. Alright. We're gonna start heading into taverns and inns. Oh, somebody's coming at me already. Oh, nope, nope. Okay, alright, alright. We're safe-ish. 
Uh, oh my god. Volo is here. That's the only one with a name. Uh, Volo is a grand explorer who's written many I'm books. Uh, yes. Greetings, uh, fellow traveler, have... for I see by your garb that you do not uh, call this place yeah, home. Sure Sit with me a while ready. and enjoy the atmosphere of this fine fair while we recount tales of lands far and far seeming. I have wandered the width and breadth of Faerun, but yet have I to find such hospitality as that of a simple country festival. It's a shame that the festivities are marred by the events as of recent, though they certainly put up a brave face, do they not? You look confused, so perhaps you know not of the local trouble that continues to vex the most gracious people of Nashkel. If you have just arrived, I could, for the price of an ale and an ear, relate what I know. Shall I tell you of their mining difficulties, or relate the tale of their unfortunate commander of the guard? Um, I mean, I already know all about that, but why don't you tell me about the mines? Peaks... The word is that all across the expansive Sword Coast, from the Cloud Peaks to Baldur's Gate, an ore shortage is severely crippling local trade. Bandits, purportedly both human and demi-human, raid caravans, whilst ore reaching its destination becomes brittle and useless following smelting, strangely afflicted by an odd iron-weakening plague. As though this were not cause for alarm in itself, production at the mines outside of Neshkel has fallen, with the substantially lower yields being blamed on nervous workers. Mysterious disappearances of several miners have set the whole area on edge, where something must shift the balance to one side or the other. Mm. Tell me about the captain. Just let me finish my drink, and then we can carry on through the wee hours without tales. Where is that all the expensive? And mysterious disappearances from miners at the whole area. Yep, this is just more of the same. Tell me more about captain. I hear that Commander Bridge of the Omnian Guard has been missing for some weeks now, following a strange alteration in his behavior. Where once he was a well-thought-of family man, he has turned to senseless mayhem, affecting a rampage the likes of which I have never heard. His fellow soldiers noted nothing out of sorts that could trigger such a transformation. But one notable item seems relevant. If not for the Iron Shortrance, it would have gone unnoticed, but prior to his mad rage, the Commander procured a new sword. The importance of this information I have no way of verifying. Yep, that sword is definitely cursed or, like, has an intelligence behind it. Like, it's e like an evil intelligence. Um, I mean, yeah, I've heard basically the same thing. There's no cause to be rude. It would be good for you to leave. Alright, so he really, I really don't think that he is, um, in his own mind. What's the bouncer got to say? Nothing. Commoner? If you've come to town looking for work, you might as well pack up and go back to whence you came. Our mines to the east are soon to be closed down. No one's willing to work there anymore. Set the fool already in the desperate. Something's down in this mines. Something evil. I need to bring my whole my whole party to come back here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Commoner. Excuse me. I had a tale of adventurers in town, but they're all talk and no action. If you see them, give them a kick and tell them to get moving. We need help, and we need it fast. Okay. I don't really feel... Basically, I'm just saying, everybody's just saying, go to this place. Go to the mines already. Everybody coming? Okay. Right, what's this then? Um... Alright, have I been here? Oh, yeah, it's the garrison. Okay, where's left? Alright, I gotta go to the inn and the manor house. Um, well, I'm closer to the inn. So let's go there. Whoops. I found two part... <laughs> Two new party members in this place. Rasad, I left him be. Save. Always good to save. Maybe a touch I'm on like, but I'm gonna slit your throat. I am. Oh, yep, new attacker. I knew this. Every time I go into an inn, there's some someone ready to kill me. Just fancy my luck seeing you strolling here, bold as day. I expected a hunt and a chase from the description, but who am I to argue easy coins in the purse? May the Lord of Shadows guide you swiftly to your death. I would know my attacker. Who I am is unimportant, though my name is Nera. What I am is a hunter of bounties, and on your head is a lovely little sum. Does this satisfy your request? I thought it wouldn't. No matter. Alright. Uh, if you attack with your fight stick, you attack with your fight stick. You cast Shillelagh and then attack with your fine stick. You get behind her and then attack. You cast Magic Missile. And you attack with your fight stick. 
I don't know if there's enough room for all this, but we'll see how it goes. Oh. This is on it interesting that there's a character named Nira, and then her name is Nira as well, or Naira or something like that. It's kind of odd. Cast it again. And she's not missing any hit points. Did I, like, miss? Oh, it hadn't hit her yet. Okay. Let's see. Uh, did you hear her catch Shillelagh? Good. So you get in there and start attacking with your Shillelagh stick. And you, once you get to where you're supposed to go, be going. You should start backstabbing. I wish you would move a little bit faster, though. Oh, okay. I, I won. That was fast. You have needed me? Okay. Oh, am I still confused? Am I... What is that? Camaraderie, um, what the hell? The stuff of legend. Rigid right thinking. Move. I don't know what that is. I don't know how... How to tell what it is. Like... When I mouse over, it doesn't say anything. Okay. Well, anyway. Hopefully... I don't do anything untoward. Just running around. If none are better. You okay, buddy? <laughs> you... Weapon unusable. Now, when you say a weapon uh, unusable, you're, are you're saying Shillelagh is unusable. That's what I'm guessing. He's still not himself. Oh god. Oh dear. What are you doing? What you want? Everybody, unarm yourselves. Yep. I don't want you killing Mad Gort, making me game over. Holy shit! Can you attack him? Get on it. No, I can't, because he's an ally. <sighs> Kill yourself. How long does this fucking thing last? Christ. Oh my god. Okay, are you gonna punch him? Like, get him back, buddy. Attack him. <laughs> no. I can't seem to, like, make him fight him. Are you gonna heal? I need you to heal, lady. Oh my god, this rigid thinking thing is driving me nuts. Okay. Whew. He made it. Everybody's alive. <laughs> I was I was just so baffled there. It's like I can't fight my own guy. He starts fighting me. I can't do anything else about it. Jeez. Okay. Um, Let's loot that lady. Like how nobody else even, like, nobody gives a shit. She had a helmet and a scroll. Bitch, anything that scroll says, you know, so and so costs money to, f to kill him, hunt, hunt his head. I'll not go down the mines again. Tain't natural what's down there. I just don't understand how adventuring fools like you go and put yourself in harm's way. But they're not sure. Troubles in the region. I feel like this troubles in the region thing keeps getting bigger and bigger. No objective text. Yeah. Tale of Prince Barge. Finished. Oh. Yeah. Finished that quest. Because I'm not him. Farmer's Tales. Nothing. Okay. Alright. Let's, uh. Oh. Let's. Keep bugging around here. Um. I really need to level. I feel like. It takes way too much XP to level. She's about to level. But I feel like she's been about to level for a really long time. Um, okay. Well, she's good. Uh, she's... Oh, wait, no. Let me check out some spells. I want to make sure that everybody's... I like the layout of their their spells. You know, I've... I haven't really been using Entangle. Um, 
I think the area of effect is like massive and I'm not sure how much help it is. I think I'd rather have another cure. Um, yeah, and then Shillelagh, which is kind of neat. Um, and then for the other spellcaster, she's just rocking two magic missiles, I guess. She's got some other good abilities, but I feel like those are just the best for now. Um, let's see. Before I rest, though, because I definitely need to rest, I want to identify this helmet that I just found off that lady, because it was a pretty cool helmet. Helm of Infravision, the eyes of truth. Being a scavenger of a sort, Babette Malastrom had this helm created to aid her in her dungeon excursions. She would later attribute her gathered wealth solely to its power, though likely it was as much her keen eyes as anything. Up to 120 feet. Nice. Not usable by thieves. Oh, that's stupid. I was going to be like, ha, yeah, I was going to give it to my thief. Okay. So let's see, this helmet gives infravision up to 120 feet. I think base for most classes is, or for most races, is 60 feet. So that's certainly helpful. Um, and the scroll, scroll should go to Nira, since she's the only one that can actually come close to using them. This helmet, though, I feel like magical helmets, eyes of truth, huh, that magical helmet should, like... I don't know, glow kind of like this one does, so that you know that. Are you human? I think you are. Let's give you some infravision. Oh, that looks ridiculous. Okay. Any other scrolls I'm rocking that need to be. Okay. Oh. Yeah, my bounty's up to 680 gold. Not bad. Um, let's sell some. Some odd, odd bits. There we go. Let's sell that. Let's keep that. Let's sell that. We're good. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's buy a let's buy a longbow since Minsk is proficient in them. Go on then. And we'll give that to him and, you know, it'll just be something he can use on the side. Should he feel the need to. Cool. Okay. Alright, well, it's yet another assassination attempt. Thwarted. Um, I think there's just the manor house left in town to go to. Yep manor house and uh, I should sleep I've got my spells already again that I need to like that I needed to switch out but I know that sleeping won't really help much with my health especially she's missing a lot and it would be nice if I had any more to heal but I had to use all my heals because Gort went insane on me <sighs> that's so dumb Maybe if I had some sort of like cure or dispel effect or something, I could have removed it, but I've, I've literally never heard of that status effect. So we'll see how it goes. Day six. <laughs> go. Locked all that way for nothing. All right, let's go back to the inn. Okay, um, Never had let's, actually, you know what, since I want to rest, why don't I rest for more than a day? I actually don't really know what the difference between each of these is, like, healing-wise for me, like, the actual effect. I always feel like I should pay more, but I don't really know if it matters. Did I do it? Nope. Yeah, let's do it. Rent. Okay. Sleeping for the night. 
Rest at eight hours. Since I'm, I'm gonna rest for actually two sets because I want to heal up. And it doesn't seem like there's any sort of penalty to doing so. So. So yeah, I'll rest again to regain my slot because one you slot right. is a big deal. <laughs> okay, rest again, friend. Thank you. And all her slots are back, and she's fully healed. Salty. All right. Okay, so uh, I think we're pretty much done with this town. Uh, we know that there's a carnival to the east. There's also a strong noble stronghold to the west. Looks like well, it'll probably be a little while to get to. I'll probably have to stop somewhere here. Uh, then there's, also, of course, also the mines, which I've been pushed towards since pretty much the beginning of the game. Um, so why don't we try going to the carnival, since, you know, let's delay the mines if we can. All right, let's head on there. It's kind of a gloomy day to, to be at the fair. <laughs> Performer. And there she lay, pale and bloodless, at my side. Woeful be the path of the elves, said I. Woeful be the path of all who trod this glade. For Nosferatu's once fair love has died. Oh, she has died. Midst coffers full and coffins bare, there came the fearsome devil bat. Red blood, red eyes, and ruddy hair, but none more red than two sharp teeth that glistened there. There ends Galahine's last and best loved work, Nosferatu. Enjoy the rest of the carnival, ladies and gentlemen. A finer one I have not seen in years. Okay. Sorted. Yeah, what a gloomy carnival. There's like nobody on the s on the benches. There's it's raining. Crummy. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go towards the tents. Hello, performer. Come see me. It's odd for the sculptor Prism to miss a festival, though he's always been rather driven in his work. Even though he's been missing a month, I thought he would come to the festival. Prism. Hmm, he's probably stuck in the mines. Prism carves with unnatural speed. Tis surely unhealthy. The Great Gazeeb. Hi! Come well and welcome. You have stumbled upon the Great Gazeeb Show, starring yours truly, the Great Gazeeb. Allow me to introduce the amazing Upa, the world's only exploding ogre. Go off, then. I like it. Right, what's this then? <gasps> the amazing Upa, death. Fun for the whole family. Now let's try that crowd please one more time. Gonna move along. I've already seen it. That's kind of funny though. All right, well, at least I know what an ogre looks like in this game, so I know what to look out for. My face. My face one, finally. Those halfling fools said not a day's travel from the Firewind Bridge ruins and never paid a second glance. Had I asked out bleed and time from the farm, I'd second for all the treasure it's worth. Hmm. Okay. I do like treasure. Let's fill out this little, this little nook. I like, I like that. This carnival's kind of blah. I'm not excited. Oh dear. Hello. <laughs> An explorer of the land seeking wonders and oddities. Well, both I have. Unfortunately, I paid thrice the price for my iron my ironwares and not a piece is saleable. Perhaps the guard will take more notice when old swords wear and the new snaps like twigs in autumn. Nevertheless, you came here to buy, and I do have something special just for you. These potions are strange magic from a distant shore. A swallow of the violet and a titan's might shall possess you. Ever after, exceptional strength is yours. Drink down the red mix and your insights will rival Elminster's. Your clarity of thought indefinitely enhanced. To you, I offer them at the bargain price of 50 gold apiece, as restitution for my depleted selection. If they do not perform as I have promised, your money I will courteously refund. Will you relieve, relieve my hands of the violet? Here's the thing. No money for one potion. See, here's the thing. I don't want either of them. Somebody said they bought a new sword and it like cursed them. So maybe 
No, such a grand guest, gift to the citizen, you would refuse. Please confirm that I have not offended you by at least accepting the red elixir. Steal it from un my under my own eyes for 40 gold. I don't think I'll risk either of your gifts. You insult me by refusing my hospitality. I've done with you. Leave and darken my humble tent no longer with your sour presence. Yeah. Strange merchant. Very eager to be generous. Perhaps a touch too eager for my liking. He also mentioned a problem with his iron item being quite brittle. Exactly. He was too generous. Something was wrong. Um. I, care not. I have an idea. But I don't really know how this thing works. Wonders I have seen, but I see the best. Thieving. Hide and shadows failed. Okay, alright. Trying to see if I could like steal stuff, but <laughs> I don't think she's one, super good at it, and two, I was kinda like right behind him. Sure is a nice carnival they put on. If only there were more people here to enjoy it. Down in the mines or dead. A combination of the two more often than not. I'm sorry. You folks are here to enjoy the carnival. Don't let me go telling my depressing tales. The mine is more interesting. What's right? The place has been claiming lives hand over fist, but where else can we find work? It's either death by the demons or death by the dinner plate. And us Nashkel folk aren't the type to let our family starve. I'd register with the garrison, but with this bum leg, I ain't no good at fighting. Just pushing the ore barrel, that's all. It's nice that I get to talk to a lot of, like, regular old commoners. Figuring out their regular old plights. How are we doing here? What is that? Merchant, merchant, gambling tent. I do like gambling. I remember Mad Court, my original D&D character, really liked to uh, gamble. Maybe I'll give it a whirl. Just decoration, mostly. Just barren cliffs. What's this? A tent, you say? A cat, you say? Flame. Farmers? Unattended treasure. You know... I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if all these locked things are meant to be, you know, like meant to be picked by me. Lock pick failed. Okay, well, nobody's catching me, so I'm just going to keep doing it. Ah. You know what? I should have been doing this since the beginning. I don't know why I've been... So resistant about it. Get, get. What you want? I'm gone. What you got? Yeah, there's just all this gold in here. Man. Okay. Well, <laughs> there should be more thieving going on, I suppose. What are you? Another merchant. There's a lot of merchants for just a carnival. Like, where are the acts? This place looks like a weapons. I don't want to steal from you just yet. Oh, you hear the guards coming. Ah, uh, I saw it. Show us your wares. Studded leather. Splint. Didn't I sold all my splint, didn't I? Should give some to Minsk. Oh well. Uh oh. We represent the Council of Six. You are accused of thievery. You must surrender yourself to the mercy of the law. Uh... This is my first offense. <gasps> Uh-oh. Crap. Of course, my Stand wizard is right there. And watch this. You right. I'm on it. I guess I'm just fighting a guard. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't like doing this. Everybody else just get in there and start pummeling them. Go on, then. Get him. For the fallen! Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him quick, quick, quick. Camaraderie. How can they all miss so often? Sometimes this game is really ridiculous. Like, I can attack and attack and attack and attack. Wait a minute. 
Uh, yeah, some of them are still using fists from when I was fighting Boo. Boo? No, when I was fighting uh, Gort when he went crazy. Well, that explains some of it. And it cost me nine hit points. Jesus. Right, what's this then? That's a fancy looking helmet. Chainmail. Cool bow. Necklace. Not bad. Uh, let's give that um, mail. Yeah, let's see if you can wear that. There we go. It's much better. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. I love it. Sorted. All right, well, hopefully nothing bad comes of that. I don't really know how this game handles, like, unlawfulness. Whoa. Statue. This way, good sir. Over here. Are you a statue or are you a person pretending to be a statue? Those have things. I already talked to you. Uh, Zeke. We'll hold off on you, Zeke. Um... I think, uh, having slain a guard, um, even though I attempted to bribe him, um, uh, is a good way to end the episode. <laughs> uh, so this has been Rough Night Gaming. I'm Travis, and I'll, I'll see you next time.